welcome back to Kofoma Solutions. In our previous lesson, we talked about properties of derivatives and we looked at two properties that's the power rule and the constant multiple rule. Today, we would like to continue with other properties. So, we'll be starting from property 3 today, which we call the sum difference and constant rule. So, let's see what happens there. Okay, so starting with the sum difference and the constant rules. Okay, for sum and difference, I know we have two functions f and j all of what x uh, we are to find their sum and difference or if they are constants trying to differentiate them we use these following rules for sum when we have f plus g of x we want to find the derivative we differentiate it term by term so we are going to get f prime of x plus g prime of x which is differentiating in term by term and also when we come to the difference let's say f minus g of x we find the derivative of x minus the derivative of g and also when we have a constant let's say c okay we have c we want to differentiate c if y is equal to c, that's a constant, then our y prime, that's the first derivative, will give us 0. So anytime we differentiate a constant, we actually have 0 as our value or answer. So let's take some examples and find out how we do this when we have been given actual examples to work for. Okay, so let's find the derivative of y equals... 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 7. Okay, you can see that we have sums and differences all joined together. It simply tells us to differentiate 10 by 10. So our y prime, which is the first derivative, we are going to differentiate 10 by 10. And as we did early on, this is a multiple constants so we keep the constant which is 2 and we differentiate the x cube giving us 3x squared that is we subtract 1 from the power 3 minus we maintain the 5 differentiating x squared we have 2x plus differentiating 4x we have what 4 plus what is 0 this is a constant so it goes to 0 so we simplify to get um, 6x squared minus 10x plus 4. So this is our first derivative, that's when we differentiate y. So this is just kind of combination of sums, differences and what constant rules. So with this, let's take another example, then we move on to another rule. Assuming we have f of x equals 5 root x plus 3 over x minus 18. Finding f prime of x, that is the derivative, we still do our differentiation term by term. We maintain the constant which is 5. Differentiating x squared gives us 1 over x squared with a power of 1 but we have a constant of 2 as we find out in our earlier discussions also differentiating this this 3 is a constant so we maintain it this is just like x to the power minus 1 we are going to get minus x to the power minus what 2 which we can rewrite in other forms minus 18 goes to what? 
0. So we simplify to get 5 over 2x with a root plus 3 over minus x squared. But this minus will affect this positive sign here. So we have 5 over 2 root x minus 3 over x squared. So differentiating 10 by 10, that's what we have. Okay, so this is what the sum difference and constant rule is all about. Now let's move on to rule 4, which is the product rule. We can get two functions multiplying each other and we find name each one derivative. So with this, assuming we have two functions f of x times g of x and we are trying to differentiate them so let's assume y is equal to f of x by g of x so our first derivative that's when we are trying to differentiate the rule we use is we maintain g of x and differentiate f of x so that's f prime of x we add it to Secondly, we maintain f of x and differentiate g of x. So we have g prime of x. So this is what we have as our first derivative or when we derive our differentiation we use this formula. We first maintain g of x and we differentiate f of x. We multiply them plus we maintain f of x and differentiate what g of x so that's how we simply do it so we are about to take an example to clarify that so that we gain much understanding from it okay assuming you have been given these two functions to differentiate x squared plus one in the brackets the other bracket have x cubed plus 4. How do we go about it? You can see that we actually have a product, one function by another function. So we can name this function, let's say y equals x squared plus 1 by x cubed plus 4. So our first derivative, that's the differentiation will be, we first maintain our second function that is g of x so x cubed plus 4 times f prime of x that is we differentiate the first function differentiating x squared gives us 2x plus a constant which is 0 so we forsake that 0 because it doesn't have any effect here plus now we maintain the first function that is x squared plus 1, then we differentiate the second function, so we are going to get 3 x squared plus a 0. So after this, we can expand the brackets to get a simplified form. That's if we have to simplify to the lowest. And simplifying this, we'll be having 5 x to the power 4 plus 3 x to the power 2 plus 8 x so we can expand this bracket expand that then we simplify to get our final answer so this becomes a derivative for the third derivative for the product of x squared plus 1 and x cubed plus 4 okay we think this is helpful for now we will pause here and in our next lesson we will take other two rules that's the quotient rule and also talking about chain rule and its implicit form of differentiation so it will meet again say goodbye